it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, here we are, back on Grand Theft Auto V. Just pratting about for the fun of it. Don't know where I'm going. Not doing any objectives or missions or anything. I'm just arsing around because I can. I'm really having a look at the scenery because some bits of it are really pretty. What is this building? I was in a strip club in the game just a little while ago. I, I seem to start in the strip club. I left there. Strip clubs with the music turned off are kind of weird and I have got the music turned off obviously. Get out of my way. Don't recognize this. What is this? It actually looks like Sheffield. It's got places like that. Lots of steelworks or things that were steelworks. I don't know what they are now. Tories did away with our steel industry. Bastards. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Bastards. What's in here? Big metal plates. What's he doing? I'm not. I want to get into that their vehicle. Ah, I was thinking it was like one of those oh, security lorries with uh, well, security vans. What's going on here? Thought there might be money in it, but no. It's just. Oh, that's boring. I'm gonna be the A team, all on my own. Because this looks cool. Get into massive gunfights with AK-47 spraying bullets everywhere, but no one dies ever. And I need a cigar. So anyway, while I've got your attention, if you haven't left already, and I wouldn't blame you if you had. Uh, th there was certainly a bone of contention, shall we say. Uh, a, one of the topics on my Friday talkie was games you like on systems you don't. And I know most of you are well aware that I'm not a fan of the NES and not really a fan of Nintendo in general, though that's really down to the games, mostly, except for the NES. I mean, that's, that's, far, more, uh, that's far more to it than that. But there were some objections shall we say to the fact that I don't like and don't buy Xbox stuff. I have an Xbox One because I got it for a tenner but I don't have a 360 and I won't buy an Xbox One and it's largely on principle and there were objections to this and I, I find I do find that strange um, the the how can you as a gamer not buy this system just because you don't like the console cut that the company who makes it you're limiting yourself and blah blah and stuff and it surprises me actually that I would be asked that because as, as I said in I had a long conversation and it was a civilized conversation and I'm not in any way knocking the person who asked me um, but it did surprise me my my view on the whole subject is Ignoring Nintendo, it, it is an entirely different thing why I'm not really into Nintendo. I just don't really like their games for the most part. But with Microsoft, it, it's, it's a matter of principle very much. I didn't buy the Xbox One back in the day because I disliked Microsoft. I just think they're not a company who gives a crap a, about gamers. And alright, yes, the same could be said for Sony. Um, but Microsoft were never a hardware manufacturer, Sony at least were. They're, they're, I think Sony could kind of get away with it. So, with, to my mind, Sony can get away with it. They make consumer electronics, 
So the PlayStation is a console and they didn't have a history in console gaming, but they have a history in consumer electronics, so they maybe give a crap about the quality of their merchandise. And let's be honest, the quality of their merchandise is generally excellent, overpriced frequently, but they care about the quality of what they make. Microsoft, they're not a hardware manufacturer. They were just getting in on the act to make the money because they, they are corporate and big companies generally are, they're in it for the money, fine, but they had a corporate hat and very much have a corporate attitude that I dislike greatly. They will, they're not in competition with the competition in terms of their idea of comp get off of me you twit, their, God. their idea of competing is not make a better product so we sell more than them. No, their idea of competition is put them out of business, buy them out, litigate, whatever, dominate, eliminate the competition. And, and they did that by fair means or foul, and very often foul. And I find that objectionable greatly. So that put me off buying the Xbox One. The, no, well, the original Xbox. Um, the 360... Pfft, it's not even about the principle. It's not even that I dislike Microsoft and the way they do business. It's, it's really, I think it's an unreliable piece of junk. And I won't spend that kind of money on something that's likely to break within six months. And I know the new model is supposed to be more reliable, but I've still heard plenty of people say it ain't. And I just, I've just i said it countless times before. If I can buy an Atari 2600 that's 30 years old and it works perfectly, I'm absolutely damned if I'm going to pay good money for something that probably won't last six months. Um, I have lost count of the number of Microsoft fans who say they've gone through five, six, seven 360s. Well, screw that. I ain't doing that. You know? And uh, as for the Expo, no, absolutely not. I mean, they showed their absolute disdain for the consumer and for their their customer base with their plans for the Expo and all the things they wanted to do, the snooping, the restrictions, everything. It, it was just utterly, fuck you, we'll give you what we want and you'll like it, even if it's totally not in the interest of the consumers. Their fans, their their user base. No way am I going to support a company with that kind of attitude. I am totally prepared to do without the exclusive games. You know, yeah, Microsoft don't make all of the games for the um, Xbox. Fine, no problem. But uh, a lot of those games I will be able to get on the PlayStation anyway, and I'll be very happy to play them. If it's an Xbox exclusive, well, I'm sure they won't miss my custom, shall we say. I, I just will not support a company with that kind of attitude towards its, con its, its user base. It's disgusting. And that's my stance on that. That's why I don't play Microsoft. It does bother me. It bugs me. It irks me when people say, you shouldn't have that attitude. That's, that's, that's Sony fanboyism. It's not. It's having a set of principles. It's caring more about the bigger picture. There is more to life than games and I will forego some games and playing them because of the bigger picture, which is you don't let the corporations fuck you over if you can help it. If you don't have to. I have Windows on my computer. I dislike it, but I need some of the software that's on it that I can really only run in Windows. So, but I don't have to play the games on their consoles. I've got plenty of other consoles I can play, so no, I absolutely won't support them. And I, I, while I totally respect other people's right to play the games on them, to, to not give a crap about the bigger picture, for, for people to tell me that I'm being, I'm wrong, I, I actually take objection to that. I think that's, I think they're wrong. and I find it quite objectionable. But there you are. Wow, didn't that turn into a rant? But I was, you know, I had, I'll tell you why I'm actually talking about this. I had the long conversation with a person and it was a respectful, constructive conversation and I enjoyed it. And we 
you know, understood each other at the end of the conversation. We didn't agree, but we saw each other's position and that's cool. But after that long conversation, several other people asked me exactly the same question that he, you know, the, uh, the conversation had just been about. And, you know, I was like, no, come on, I've already just covered this in detail. Why are you asking me this? I'm not going to do all of that again. That, that irked me. So that's what I'm just doing here, covering it all. Um, it's not for anyone to say what anyone else should or shouldn't be into and whether or not they should play a certain system. No. Anyway, rant over. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. Well, I'm not stuck. I don't know quite what I was planning to do with my van. I got myself stuck in a bit of a dead end here. I don't know what the building was that I was next to. Possibly a power st Was it a power station? Is there a railway line here? There is. No trains anywhere near though. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's just a pylon. Boring! So I'm just going to have to steal a vehicle, as you do. Mm. Yeah, this looks good. You're stopping, mate. You are stopping. You are. Oh, God, you better stop. Hello, chap. <laughs> my dad used to drive one of these he, he drove various lorries and things in his time but he drove one of these I traveled in it he, I, just around Milton Keynes um, and I have been inside the drum of one of these and it's quite scary they get filled the, Blech. Concrete will set inside them after a time and there are blades inside that mix the concrete as it goes round and you, if you see one that's got the drum going round while it's travelling he's totally breaking the law because it's dangerous because it can topple the thing over. But anyway, the way of getting the concrete off the blades is you lock the drum so that it won't rotate, you climb inside through the chute at the top and then you hit the concrete with a sledgehammer and maybe you have like a big chisel or something as well and you're just in there banging away at it and um, by god is it loud I mean you think about how loud it is if you say bang an empty oil drum or you think about getting inside one of these and banging it with a sledgehammer and oh my god it's loud yeah trying to think with the other interesting sto stories that were attached to that lorry. It got nicked. There was a... I'm not going to say that all, shall I say, dra travellers, gypsies, whatever you want to call them. There was a camp right next door to the depot and they broke in and they stole his lorry and it was recovered a few days later. But then a week after that they got in and stole it again and this was a brand new 80,000 pound lorry and they stole it again and rather than taking it away they drove it into the lake because there was a lake there the, the, the depot was at, like some gravel pits that were full of water yeah and they ran it into the lake bastards put my dad out of business he lost his house because the damn fool was too too proud to claim housing benefit damn fool but there you are this was long after I'd moved out. And, eh, no love lost between me and my dad anyway. But there you go, yes. Uh, one of these in a lake. That was probably quite a sight for the anglers in the morning. Especially if, they, if it was like, I don't know how far under the water it was. You can imagine that. You go fishing, you think you've got a bite, you're really in and there's a bloody cement mix lorry on the end. Nice.
what is kind of a shame is there is no there's no option on here to unload this it would like you can drive the um the fire engine around and spray water everywhere but wouldn't it be fun to be driving down the road and just spread concrete all over the road ah drinking and driving i don't encourage it or condone it or anything i'm just you know it's pretty that looks a bit like is that Tinsley Viaduct. There are two levels on that. I find Tinsley Viaduct kind of scary. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. I know I've got one or two listeners who are from this neck of the woods and who will be familiar with it. I just find a double-decker motorway bridge that is supported from the middle terrifying. The, the, the support structure is entirely in the middle with like branches poking out from the middle. Holy crap, that thing just looks like it'll tip over. And I mean, we do get earthquakes in this country. I would not want to be on that thing in an earthquake. I don't know who designed it. They might have been very, very clever, but I bet you there's a reason why they're constantly doing maintenance on that thing. Oh. Is that a rocket? Will he fit through that? Oh yeah! Oh! Nice! Nice. No, it's, it's good to cause a bit of mayhem every now and then. Oops, I don't know if I've been this far around the map. Do I recognise this area? It's not actually looking all that familiar. And I am just, I'm just pooping around to see what's about, because I don't know. What is this? Is this that, is this the chicken factory? Is this where I, I don't know. Again, it looks like we're in Sheffield, except, well, not sure about the mountain. There's some big hills in Sheffield, but they don't really look like that. It's kind of like being near Meadowhall. There's a big hill right next to that. And that's like, that's the substation by Rotherham. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Well, there's got to be some serious construction going on around here, two, two mixer lorries. This is vibrating a lot on here. Oh. There's a lot of, t I wonder, I wonder if you can like knock the big timber things down where it's all piled up. Oh, I think I want to find out. I wonder if, if he was to tip over. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I want to knock him over. Oops, well I won't do it like that. Where's he going? Oh, I'm following him. Get off, get out of the way. Where's he gone? if I can just knock him off a bridge or off a cliff or something. Watch out, man. Yeah. Like he said. That's not working, is it? I ain't got enough weight. Look what I done did. Look how you done don't talk right in it. Good. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I drive around with concrete and I don't eat hay. Um, mm. 
Oops. Had beer in my hand. Couldn't steer, holding beer. Hey, you got off luck, Mom. Yeah, I did. Thank you. It's just pure skill. Uh, ooh, that's pretty. That is so... Ooh. Oh. Phones are down. Blame BT. That's just gorgeous. It really is. I mean, I know that PS4 is going to be noticeably more powerful. Well, I don't know how noticeably, but it's going to be more powerful than the PS3. But how much prettier can you get on an HD TV? How? Yeah, it'll have better AI and you'll have more particle effects and stuff. But. Oh, holy crap. I want one of them. Is this a prison or a military base? I just want that helicopter. Got to be a way in. This don't look good. Probably going to get myself shot. I don't think I'm in the right place for it. This looks like a water treatment plant. There's a tank! Oh my god, there's a tank! I want one! Gimme! Gimme! How do I get in there? I can't imagine you can just walk up to the tank and pull the driver out. That just ain't going to happen, is it? How the hell do you get into one of them? There's another one. Oh, give me that. No, you're right, it absolutely doesn't. There's no way this thing's getting in there, even if I got a good run up. And a... What? So I think with a, a motorbike and, oh, I appear to have had a puncture. That's unfortunate. We'll just keep going anyway. What have we got here? Yeah, gate that I can probably punch through and then get shot to hell. That would be a way to get in. I just need a vehicle that will jump it. I am leaving the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut your face. This looks promising. I just think I will probably die. But who wants to live forever? To quote a certain Queen song. Yeah, yeah, that'll get us some speed. Oh dear. This will get us some speed up. Right, 
well. Maybe. Not quite sure where the best ramp point is. We'll go this way. Faster, 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 please go faster. Whoa! Oh, uh, wrong side of the gate. Ah, uh, sod it. Hmm. I'm not going to say this again. Leave now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a miserable bastard. Think I'm in trouble. Think I'm in big trouble. Think I don't really want to be in this bit here. That's probably not so clever. That's not very clever at all. That's pretty damn stupid, actually. Tank, tank, please. No, no tank. Oh, a tank. I uh, will just take a lorry until we get to something good. Hopefully, these are armoured. Oh dear. Come on. Come on. Can I ram through that? Yes, I can. Come on, give me something good to steal, please. Oh shit, wow, that didn't take long, did it? Yeah, that was never going to work. What? I'm only just out of hospital, give me a break. Wow, I'm back here already. It's this place, we've been here before. Hello, love. Mm. Let's have a walk around before we nick a vehicle. Hey, Hello, good sir. Doing a lot better if the state didn't drown me in regulation. Yeah, it's disgusting. In this economy, how do you think I'm doing? I'm getting late. <laughs> Well, you're supposed to bend over forwards for your government. It's funny actually, just thinking about them talking about the economy and the whole America shutting down malarkey. Um, that part aside, um, and it is pathetic where you've got, I mean I don't really understand American politics but it just seems to me where you've got two parties and the one that's not in power and, and stuff can shut down the one that supposedly is, that, that, that's fucked up, I mean our, our government's demented but that sounds insane. But that's not even what I want to talk about or, or blather on incoherently when I probably don't know what I'm talking about. But the thing that gets me is the whole, in a couple of weeks or whatever, America is broken, will default on its debt. Um, I remember that happening to another superpower. And I'm talking Soviet Union in around, was it 89 or something? Uh, we've been here before. Are we about to see uh, a superpower cease to be a superpower? That's a rather interesting looking vehicle. I think I'll have one of those. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me that the way to, uh, <coughs> the way Russia didn't just cease to exist, sorted out its finances, was to, apart from stop being a massive, super duper conglomerate of states and they all regained their independence, it reduced its military. It had to. Most of its military just got like, I won't even say put into mothballs, it just laid in the docks and rusted. And is this what's going to happen to America? Are they just going to have to stop 
buying so many tanks and planes and boats and invading places and, and being generally milit militaristic. I don't know. Um, it will be very interesting to watch. And there, there are going to be Americans now who are screaming, what the bloody hell do you know? You don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah. Yeah, you're right, I don't. I'm speculating. I'm just... It's like history does, though, appear to be repeating itself. And when a state is really, really broke and victimising its poor and its uh, underprivileged classes hasn't done the job... I mean, they're working on that in Britain at the moment. If you ain't rich, you're fucked. Um, yeah, when, when victimising the poor doesn't solve the problem, and let's be honest, it never solves the problem, the only solution is reduce the military. Um, and you do, you get all these people saying, we won't be able to defend ourselves. I'm sorry, going abroad and invading another country to stop the terrorists, huh? <laughs> is not defending yourself, it's being the aggressor. Um, and when you have to reduce your military, you have to stop doing things like that. So, where's it all going to go? I don't know, but it's interesting. Oh, that's going to have upset some people, isn't it? Wow. How do I have the nerve? Well, it's called alcohol. Probably lose half of my audience base now, but well, you know. This is not normally what I make videos for. Oh crap! Oh! Yep. That did it. And that's how you drive a car. I kind of did something a little bit similar to that on my first driving test. Actually it wasn't. I, I exaggerate greatly. I was taught i got to say, my, my instructor was, uh, he believed in driving assertively. Um, I, I would like pootle along the dual carriageway doing 45. And he was like, nope, if you drive like a learner, you'll come out of your test a learner. Put your foot down, take it up to the national limit. So I did. And it's like, approach roundabouts in third, and only knock it down to second if you absolutely have to. So I did. And all of that is fair enough if you know exactly where you are and what's coming up. Actually, all of that is not fine, really. I think all of that is slightly aggressive. But anyway, um, come my first driving test, I th the moment we left the test centre, I'd cut... Theoretically, had covered all the routes that the, uh, or been in all the areas that the test might be in, but we definitely hadn't covered all the routes because where normally I was used to come out of the test centre and turning right when I'd been practicing, we came out of the test centre and turned left. And instantly, I was like, "Oh shit! I don't know where the hell we're going." Um, and that was fine up to a point. We went through the little a little village, Shireks we went through, for anyone who's familiar with it. And then uh, it, we came back into Worksop, past the uh, what I now know is the road that goes past the recycling centre. Only I didn't know where I was. I was so, complete, oh dear, so completely flummoxed, didn't know where I was, didn't know where I was going didn't recognise the landmarks because I was looking at them from an angle that I wasn't used to. I was used to that. I had practised that bit of road countless times because there was a, a, a little couple of roundabouts that I found a little tricky. And I practised them countless times coming at them from another direction. But I didn't know them this way. I didn't know where I was. I didn't recognise my surroundings. And it was at this point that I had to navigate by the road signs. He was like, right, from here on, your independent driving, take us towards, I can't remember if he said Sheffield or Lincoln, I think he said Lincoln, from here. And so, here I was approaching, oh, I want one of them. Approaching a, a series of roundabouts. Come on, man. Approaching in third, as I had been taught, which meant I was doing about 30, was trying to read a road sign because I didn't know where I was. If I'd have known where I was, I would have known exactly where to go anyway. 
um, but I didn't. So uh, yeah, I'm looking up at the road sign whilst having just left one roundabout, exited one roundabout and approaching another and did not see the curb jutting out in front of me. And I hit it, doing uh, probably about, uh, it was less than 30, but it was enough to make the car, it kicked <laughs> quite hard. It was like, you, you, you couldn't miss the fact that I'd hit the curb with some force. And it was, uh, I swore, which I don't care if it was inappropriate, I was like, fuck right in the middle of my driving lesson, uh, at which point I knew instantly, and I mean, we'd only been going for 10 minutes, and I knew instantly I failed. Um, and I was gutted, because I did damn near perfect on the rest of the test. They tell you, even if you made a mistake, and you think you failed, keep going, you might have got away with it. So I kept going, and I did brilliantly on the whole of the rest of the test. But because I had been trained to go fast, faster than is advisable, I will be honest, on and, you know, approaching roundabouts and shit, yeah, I failed. Was it his fault? Was it my instructor's fault? No. I was driving. I have to take responsibility for my own actions. Uh, I should have just thought for myself and, and when told approach in third, should have thought, that's too fast, that's stupid, I'm not going to do it. But you kind of, you, you, you trust what you're told. I passed the next test. Funny thing is, the next test, I didn't, apart from not colliding with the curb, I didn't do nearly as well. But I didn't collide with the curb, so, uh... Do I want the tractor? Will the tractor be more fun than this? No, I want the push bike. Give me the push bike. Oh, hi there. Hello, give me that. Thank you much kindly. That's very generous of you. Don't chase me. Oh, okay. Hello. Oops. What do you mean, what the fuck? I would have thought it was quite obvious. I've got your bike. Hello. Yeah, it really is. Why would a person like me ride a push bike like this? Actually, this isn't totally dissimilar. Oops. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. My voice has got all stupid nice sound. Whatever. No, I have no idea. None whatsoever. Yep. It's got to be something. Oops. Oh dear. Oh God. I don't like cycling near water. Did you know I can't swim? I can't swim. Now you know. Piss off, bitch. Yeah, I. Uh, it's quite crazy, actually. Oh dear. Wow! What? Did you see that? It just went through the thing and it ripped in half. Like. Yeah! Wow! That's cool. They need to make stronger barriers around here. What's down there? reminds me of a place in Scarborough. There's, a, there's some underground thing in Scarborough. I think it's an underground car park actually, but the entrance to it is kind of like that. I didn't know it was there for years. I mean, once upon a time there'd been a big aquarium there under the road. Um, it's not there now. It's a car park, which is not nearly as interesting as an underground aquarium, but there you go. Mmm, beer. You what? Uh, where are we going then? Where's good to hoon around on a bike? Up the middle of the road, because that's not at all dangerous. Hello, Shark Boy Junior. I did get your message about. I think it was you who sent the message about Battlefield 4 now being available on PSN as a beta. Thank you. I'm a t I get a few messages on um, PSN from people who are on my friends list. Most of them I, I, well no, about half of them I know who they are. 
and some it's like I know I know that I know them but I don't know who they are on YouTube I think I've said this before recently but I've got to be honest I, I very very rarely reply to messages on PSN because it's just so bloody difficult when you haven't got a keyboard attached and um, when I'm on PlayStation I'm either if you see me online I'm either playing a game in which case I'm not going to stop and type a message or I'm watching a film in which case I'm not going to stop and type a message because I watch a lot of like DVDs, Blu-rays and uh, love film and stuff like that on my PlayStation. Uh, so yeah, but I do read all messages that I receive on there. Strap on time. That sounds a bit... I'm not pulling her over. Piss off. I don't think he's talking to me anyway. Strap on time just sounds dodgy. I'm, I'm reminded of an issue of um, FHM. You know the one. Some of you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, it is not strap-on time. What have we got here? Oh, wow, that was pretty cool. What's around here then? Are we near the airport? I've got a feeling we're near the airport. No, we're probably near the docks. That's not as interesting. What's around here? Oops. Oh, that was novel. I'm probably going to end up in that water if I'm not really careful. Oh, there's a ramp. It's on the wrong side. And I don't think I'd do well going up it on this. We're going to do it on this anyway, because here it is. And yeah, it wasn't that kind of limited. I wonder just how fast it'll go on here. Hammering away at the thing now. Now, will he ram through a fence on a push bike? Let's see. Uh, oh, no, he won't. That's a shame. Up there, up there, go on, up there. Go on, go on, go on. It's just gonna, this is not gonna go well. Uh, oh, no, it's not. That's a shame. Oh, what was that? Oh, what the fuck? Get off me! No, you div! Get up! What are you talking about? You fucking assholes! Oops. Fuck you! Who is shooting at me? What did I do to them? Fuck off! What do you think this is? Blade Runner? Is that an RPG? I think I'm in trouble. Oh dear. All that for riding a bicycle. Well, at least we're at a better hospital this time. The stitches are a lot less scratchy. Um, they didn't even put stitches on me last time I had an operation. I had a, I had a hernia up a few years ago and no stitches. They just they put on butterfly stitches, which are just little bits of gaffer tape, really. I couldn't believe it. I mean, cut me open and pull me guts out and patch me up with gaffer tape. I was shocked. I don't know they can patch up with super glue. That's what it was invented for. But you don't you don't expect gaffer tape. This looks like a nice neighbourhood. What? You what? You reckon? You want some? Hmm? Yeah? And that's what you get. Yeah. Yeah. See? See? Nobody talks to you like that, but they do kick you in the face and shoot you. 
no problem. Yeah. And that's just because I didn't like your shoes. Well, he thinks, oh dear. Well, I'll just go and hide somewhere. They won't see me here. Probably. I'm just, I'm just going for a pee, all right? Come on, a bit of privacy, please. Peeing in the corner. No one will see. Oh dear. Can they see me? I ain't too sure about this. There's a lot of them around there. Oh boy. This ain't gonna go well. I'll just fit out here. This looks like our local citizen's advice. I think they closed it down now along with everything else that might advise you on when you're being shafted. That looks like a court. <laughs> Probably appropriate. Suspect is in a car. That narrows it down greatly. What kind of car is that then, love? A blue one. You knob. Bloody have a go here, Rose. Bloody H's. Dum -de -dum. Yeah. Was that a burger bar? Got the munchies. What's down here? Um, oops, 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 ah, uh, oops, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oops. Sometimes shortcuts aren't. And here we are again. Frequent flyer. Where's my air miles? Getting dark. You don't want to be in a place like this when it's getting dark. Give me that. Oh, oh, you bastard! Just because I ran out in front of you while you were driving doesn't give you the right to try and continue driving. Um, hello. Big issue. Anybody? Big issue. No. Clean your windscreen for you, Governor. Shine your shoes, Governor. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're in the way. Oh. And you. Yeah, get off me car. Making it look untidy. What have we got around here? It's all this. Oh, railway. Can I get onto that? I think I can get onto that. I'm pretty sure I can get onto that. Dang, ho, ho, shit. What? Oh! Oh, yeah. So, which way are we going? I don't know which way is the best. We'll just. Oh, yeah. Hello. I've been down here. This could be good. This could be potentially dangerous. Is this the place? There is a place around here with a secret tunnel thing. But I don't know exactly where it is. I see these doorways and I think, can you get in there? Oh. Oh, this is nice. Oh, you know. Oh, I wish I was in a mini. I so wish I... You know I've got a... a oh, it's not going to let me. I just want to roll it. Ah, it's not working. This is great. 
I like this. Oh yeah. Oops. Oops. What? Well, I think I broke my car a bit. I tell you what, I really do like underground places and like service corridors and things like that. Um, when I, I've told this story before, when I was a really young child, my railway station. Oh my god, I can't believe she's wearing that dress. What is she thinking? This could be a problem if I meet a train. <clears throat> oh well. Yes, when I was a very small kid, <coughs> my sister's best friend was the daughter of the chef of Lord Hesketh. And his chef lived in the stately home of Lord Hesketh, which was called Eastern Nesson. It's still there. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Um... So we used to go and visit, and they had like service corridors in that place. It was a very big building, and you could get into the service corridors, and they just went on and on and on, and they were dark and uh, full of pipes and cable conduits and stuff like you see here, but slightly less industrial. And that was just absolutely fascinating. Many years later, um, when I lived in Milton Keynes, I worked, I worked at several shops in Milton Keynes Shopping Centre over a period of time, in the stock rooms, well a couple of shops anyway, but the most interesting one was when I, I worked in the stock room at New Look. Now it was a shitty horrible place to work because the woman who ran the stock room was a bitch, but uh, we won't go into that, she might still be there, she might now sue me, but anyway. Um, we, as part of our job, we would have to go, I want to look around here. What is that? Oh, I thought maybe there was a train behind me. This might be a good time to get out. Yeah, whilst moving stock around and getting rid of rubbish and stuff like that, we had to get into the service corridors. And there were, you'd go around the shopping centre and all you see is the bit that the public see, but as someone who works there, you get into the service corridors and there were loads. There, there were some really big areas behind the scenes that were fascinating, you know, um, and I used to love going there, into the loading bays and the um, stock lifts and stuff like that, it was great. I've never been here, I didn't know this existed, how cool it is, it is still not strap on time. see. I wonder where I am in relation to everything else. Have I been here? Or am I just back in the usual bit that I'm usually in? Probably. I am lacking a vehicle. Well that's just not nice is it? Hello. See ya. Well, that seems a bit excessive. What's he doing? Yeah, okay. We'll just trundle off this way. Hmm. What have we got standing over here? I know it's antisocial, and I shouldn't do it, but. I just... <laughs> Excuse me mate, got the time. No? Oh. Well they're just not very helpful around here. All I wanted was the time and his wallet. Oh, Porsche Cayenne. I never... Why? Why Why would you call uh, a 4x4 sports vehicle after a kind of pepper? 
Um, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I mean, what next? The Porsche nutmeg. It just doesn't really. It doesn't work. Uh, lower end model, maybe the the Porsche parsley. Uh, get out of the way! That reminds me of my dad's Cortina Mark One. He had one that kind of cut. Well, it was white with blue and blue on the. Well, I say wings. It, you know. Are you familiar with the Cortina Mark One? You might know what I'm talking about then, but it was white, mostly white with blue on the pointy bits. I don't know where I am. Whoops! But I always say that. I should stop saying it. It kind of goes without saying, really. I never know where I am. And how how would I? I don't live around here. It doesn't even look like Milton Keynes. Oops. Doing a spot of uh, tree surgery. They wanted a shrubbery. Oops! Oh, God! Bit of remodeling on the front end there. Your car looks nicer, I'll have that. Thank you. That's how it works, isn't it? Straight swap, gimme. Ah, oh, shut up. Oh. There was a reason she couldn't go forward. Disgraceful language. Should never fucking swear in a video game. Oh, there's me dad. He's lost. He's got dementia, he's got no idea where he is. No wonder he's lost. There will be people who are horrified at such a comment. But there you go, that's just how I feel about the old bastard. Oh! Oh, nice, slidey. Get out of my way. I like this car. It gets sideways quite well. Oh dear. It is getting quite hard to find myself in places that I haven't been. I mean, there are some, because I wound up at that military base and I've never been there before. But, um... There is an amount of all roads lead to Probably not Rome, but maybe the city centre. <laughs> Wasn't me, it was someone else. They just sounded like me. Oh, God. My rallying skills know no bounds. Uh, see? I meant that to happen. For a handbrake. Find out in a minute. Isn't that nice with a full moon? That's pretty. That's not the handbrake. Oh, well, maybe it is, but it seems to do other stuff. God. Come on. Stop arsing about. No. Don't be. Oh, dear. Well, that would be good here. Anything worth nicking? Or trashing? What's under the tarpaulin? I doubt that I can get whatever's under the tarpaulin, which is a shame. Is there someone standing there? There is. He's having a fag. And by that I do mean cigarette. You want to see what sick fuck I am? No, not really. I just wanted a cigarette. You did it, hell. <laughs> He talks big, but he just can't deliver. Probably works for um, Royal Mail. And I only mean that in terms of their management, not their postal workers who deliver, because they're actually really good. Most of them. 
except the old bloke who couldn't really, yeah, he was rubbish. There was a guy who came to our door, he was the postman, and he handed me a wad of letters and then asked me to check them just to make sure I hadn't given him any of next doors. And I'm thinking, isn't that your job? And then another time, uh, I heard our dogs going mental, which they always do when there's a delivery. And I came to the door. No one had knocked on the door. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll get there before him, no problem. I get to the door, just as he's pushing the card through the door that says, I missed you, I will call back another time and I open the door and I'm like what are you doing you're supposed to knock before you put this through the door and he's like uh, 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 I saw your curtains were closed I didn't want to wake you up and I'm like just because my curtains are closed doesn't mean I'm in bed and that's not your call to make your job is to deliver the mail not ensure we get a good night's sleep next time you knock and he was all just full of, well, he didn't know what he was doing. Chap was about 70, but honestly, no business being a postman. I'm not a person to be mean to, like, people who are in the public service, but I just think, well, when they're in the public service, they're meant to do the job and far too many delivery type people who just like stick the card through the door because they can't be bothered to knock. Well it's like if you don't want to knock, find a job that's better suited to you. I, I totally understand not wanting to knock on people's door because you don't want to have to deal with them. That's cool. Because you don't want to have to deal with the people. I, I, I wouldn't want to do it. It's not a job I would want. I don't want to knock on people's doors and have to deal with them because I don't like people. But if that's the job you've chosen Bloody well do it. Wow, aren't I in a grumpy mood today? I'm not actually, I'm just coming out with grumpy shit. I don't even know if I should upload this. It's probably going to antagonise, intimidate, alienate. Wow. It's not even the beer. I don't. I wonder how you hook one of these up. How do you get one of these to the water? Like, could I nick that? I haven't got a. Don't think I've got a towing tow bar on me thing, have I? Because I'd certainly like to nick that and drop it into this brook. And I probably didn't do it. No, that's not working. Seems to be on fire now. No, it's more of my vehicle that's getting damaged. Oh well. What else have we got? Semi can't go rummage through their luggage. That would be fun. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's get down there. We've got to have a go on this, haven't we? I guess I can't get up there. Pity. Is there any secret passageways underneath it? No. Alright, this way it is then. Oh dear. Oh! Oh, all me hemorrhoids. Oh, God. Oh. Piss off. Oh, God. Can't go that way. Would you really take one of these things on a, on a river like this? 
like this, you'd surely break it. Or break your ass. I don't care. It's just. Oh god, oh god. It's great. I wonder if I can go up there. I watched a thing yesterday. Oh dear. Yeah, it's. Oh, maybe not. That's maybe not such a good idea. A thing with a guy on a kayak going down like a, a, a drainage ditch into a lake. I think it was in Canada. It reminded me a lot of that there. I didn't want to go up there. It probably would have got away further, but it would have got stuck and I want to play with it. Oh! 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 Oh dear. Come on. And how that kept going. Oh, this isn't going to go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, 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 whoops. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Does this go all the way to the sea? I wonder how far out to sea you can actually get on this game and what happens when you reach the edge. I mean, I drove a bus off the edge of the world on an Android game quite recently. Literally, right off the edge of the world. It wasn't a very big world. So what, what do you do here if you reach the edge of the map? This is cool. I didn't know this was here. Boathouse. Was that a quad bike? Yeah, it's a quad bike. Yeah, I'm going to stay on this thing. I'm going to try. I don't get beached nearly. This is where that map down there actually comes in really quite handy because it's still fairly dark and I can't really see where I'm going, but the map shows you where the land is and I'm about to run into it. Here we go then. Wow, that's some big waves. Well, not just some big areas getting really. Wow. God, and I can't swim. And there will be those who say, "You can't swim. Why can't you?" It, uh, I can't. I just can't swim. All right. Never learned. It forever baffles me when I say a thing and people say, I can't believe, blah, 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 whatever it was I just said. It's like, well, that's just how it is. Get over it. Why, why, why question it? It just is. Uh, mind you, I mean, it's good to question some things. Question your government. Don't question me. Yes. Wow, that's quite a long way out. We're going to the Bahamas. I've never been abroad either. There you go, that's another thing. I've been to the Isle of Wight. I don't really think that counts as abroad. I have been outside of England, but only to Wales. That is the extent of my travels. Probably the furthest north I've ever been is um, Durham. Into Durham. I liked it there. I know I have at least one viewer in Durham. Is Durham north of. Uh, not Newcastle. What's that place that's just a bit south of Newcastle? Um, forgotten. I've been there, that place, Roker Bay we were at, which is just right by 
this place that I can't remember the name of. Hmm. That's just south of New Newcastle. What's going on up there? Is that clouds or is there some kind of alien invasion? I think it's clouds, but it does look kind of iffy. These strange cloud formations. I wonder if this is one of those wraparound universes and we're just going to... Well, I can at least still see the mountains. If the mountains reappear in front of me, that will be the answer to that. It'll probably run out of fuel. Do these things have fuel? And I wonder how deep the water is. I'm sort of tempted to jump off and go down for a swim just to see, but I'll end up drowning knowing my skills in black hole. Mind you, that might not be such a bad thing because it would get me back to land more quickly than driving this thing. Hmm, I don't know. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> it's quite deep. I've lost which way is up. There are no bubbles. That's up. Oh Jesus Christ! You, did you... Oh no! 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 Fuck! Can I get... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Swim. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's just not good, is it? And I can't see the mountains now. Which way are the mountains? I don't know the way home. There they are. Epic. <sighs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.